Well, I know from uh, history, the Chinese had to have identification. So this was an early picture of my father, and this was his identification uh, as being uh, uh, permissibly being in the United States. My father would have uh, obviously been attracted to the Chinese American Citizens Alliance because of their interest in uh, uh, immigration and uh, unifying families of the Chinese men who were here in the United States. His objective, obviously, in the practice was finding ways legally to be able to unify families. A lot of my, my family were immigrants, and I know it's it was and still is a really difficult like journey for people to make. And and thinking about how when you come here, it's not always going to be your entire family that immigrates over, so you're likely making the journey alone. And and the possibility of of having your your family here is something that you'd kind of almost gamble on. And this image really makes me think of, of how like heartbreaking it is for, for the people who, who at that time to not have like a secure home because that, that piece of paper is, is really the only way you can get in. And there's like no saying that someone could say that you, you faked it and that you don't belong here. This looks kind of scary almost. When I look at this, it's like, wow, things have changed a lot. <laughs> I was under the impression that when they came here, they would, you know, have, it would be more, I don't know, I guess updated. Um, when I think of 1888, I don't, I, st I don't think of like wooden houses per se. I think of like good structured houses, especially when they came here to find, find a better life but it really like this this it almost looks kind of dilapidated so i was just kind of surprised how um like did they actually get a better life here or did it's it really it well yeah they struggle i feel like they struggle more here than back in the homeland it's like uh, we took a step backwards i remember when i was a child i had to wear um uh, an id bracelet or a necklace with my name, my address, and then I also had a pin that said, I am Chinese. And of course, you know, you don't understand it. Um, but I realized what was happening as I got older, you know, that they were discriminating. Uh, there will always be some form of discrimination. And, and the outcry comes in waves. The Chinese massacre in the 1800s. Um, again, it wasn't in any of my textbooks, um, and I didn't even like. I lived in Chinatown then, um, and I didn't know anything about it. And I would tell my friends who live in Chinatown, I was like, "Did you know about this?" And they're like, "No. Like, where even did it happen?" And I'm like, "Right here." Literally right here. I think if we could like connect it to what's happening in America today um, with the increase in Asian hate crimes and attacks on our grandmas and grandpas, it hurts because they're families.